Welcome back. Scott Hines of Augusta, Maine, was sued by five music recording labels recently for illegally downloading five songs via a peer-to-peer -peer network. This man is not the only one who has been sought out for illegally downloading such a small number of songs. 18,000 people have been sued for this type of infringement since September of 2003. Defendants are offered a deal to either fight it out in court or to pay a $3,000 fine. Most defendants pay the fine because when all is said and done, paying an attorney would likely end up costing more than it would be worth. After all, it is very difficult to find attorneys who specialize in this type of case, and the recording industry has a very good track record of winning cases like this one. Hines faces a minimum civil penalty of $750 per song. On Tuesday, February 6th, at least three of the 13 main underlying computers that help direct Internet traffic received an unusual number of queries that is likely to have been a deliberate attack on the servers. These computers, known as DNS servers, are what gives a web browser the IP address of a website. Had all of the DNS servers crashed, the Internet as we know it would have become very difficult to use by making most links to websites stop working and forcing users to type in a set of numbers that they are unlikely to know to access any and every website. Luckily, because of technologi technological innovations in recent years, these servers were not harmed, and most Internet users had no idea anything unusual was happening. On Monday, February 5th, former Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev sent an open letter to Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, asking Gates to drop the charges against a poor middle school teacher from Russia who used unlicensed copies of Microsoft products in the classroom. Gorbachev said in the letter that he respected the work of the Microsoft programmers who made the software, but that because the teacher, Alexander Ponosov, did not know he was doing anything illegal, Microsoft should drop this one case out of sympathy for the students. That's all we have for this edition of Titan TV News. I'm Michael Gorman, and that was all the news you needed to know.